Are you interested in new construction on the southern side of DFW? I mean, maybe you have heard fantastic things about Midlothian and you'd like to hear a little more? Well, you've come to the right place, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Wendy Pinnell and I am a realtor and a broker with OnTrack Realty. I have been a realtor since 2007, so going on 15 years now, you know, 14 and a half years, something like that. I'm also a native Texan, so I am the person you wanna be talking to if you're looking at buying a home in Texas, right? Okay, so today I wanna to talk to you about Midlothian new construction, right? So we did a, a little while ago, we did like a study on 10 new construction communities in Midlothian. And I'll just tell you right now, that was just the tip of the iceberg, okay? Midlothian has new construction whoo, everywhere. <laughs> All right, so, but I spotlighted 10, right? And we did an, also a guide that was free download if you're interested, which by the way, that'll be in the comments description section of this video as well, free for you to take a deeper look. All right, so we did that video on those 10 communities, right? Then we did a vlog tour. We were able to get in three of those, kind of take a look down there on the ground, see it in person, and that was great. But today we're gonna do something a little different. Today we're gonna take a bird's eye view, right? So we're gonna look at the map, and we're gonna see where each of those 10 new construction communities fit within Midlothian, right? How close are they to like the major highways? How close are they to the hospital, to grocery stores, all of that? Kind of give you a bird's eye view there. So are you ready? Let's go take a look. Okay, so here you can see we have a map of Fort Worth and Dallas. Uh, and if you look down here, kind of like a triangle, this is where you're gonna see Midlothian, okay? So, um, so if we have Dallas here, let's just say you have to work in downtown Dallas, you're gonna take 67 all the way down till you get to Midlothian, okay? So there you have Dallas to Midlothian. How long of a commute is this? It's about 30 minutes, okay? Same with if you worked in Fort Worth, you're gonna take Highway 287 to Midlothian. And guess what? Same commute time, 30 minutes, right? So it, it is interesting how Midlothian kinda has this triangulation thing going on, 30 minute commute here, 30 minute commute here. So if you work in either place, right, you've got a 30 minute commute. Uh, maybe one of you works here, one of you works there, nice 30 minute commute. So it is kind of right in the middle there. Um, let's just say you want some entertainment, okay? Come right up here. This is where the Dallas Cowboys Stadium is, Texas Rangers, just a lot of entertainment. It's gonna be right up here. And if you decide you wanna go to that, you're gonna start here with 287, then you're gonna go up 360, okay? And what's that gonna take you? About 25, 27 minutes, something like that, okay? So um, no more than a half hour commit to all these important places, right? Okay, something you should know about Highway 360 is from here to here, it's a tollway, right? Very nice, very fast, very clean, nice lanes, you know, you zip right through there. And then starting at about right here, north of 20 on up, not, not a tollway, no longer a tollway, just kind of uh, more congested, older, gonna have more traffic here, right? So this part is a little more congested, um, but still this part right here, breeze. So um, even if you work along here in Arlington, you're still gonna have a really nice drive, 287 to 360, okay? All right, few fun facts for you on Midlothian. It has a population of 38,000, okay? What is the square miles, the area of Midlothian? Well, it is almost 64 square miles, okay? So it is actually bigger than Frisco, okay? A lot of people compare Midlothian to Frisco, way up here, okay? Because it's growing super fast, right? With all of those, you know, similar typographies that Frisco had 10 years ago, okay? It has tons and tons of new construction. Like in a minute, we're gonna talk about all 10, 10 of the new construction communities that I featured in my other video. But you know what, that's like the tip of the iceberg. I mean, I probably could have done 30, right? You know, but I just chose 10. Okay, so what else do you need to know about Midlothian? Well, you can see right here, it has Highway 287 and 67 intersecting it, okay? You got 287 going this way, 67 going this way. So really it just has these two major highways. Uh, what are the cities around it? Okay, well, you've got Cedar Hill to the north, okay? You have right in here, Ovilla, okay? Down here, you've got Waxahachie, right? Then you've got Venus, you've got Maypearl, a lot of open land in here. 
And then in here, you're gonna find yourself bordered a little bit by Grand Prairie and Mansfield, okay? So in terms of new construction, nothing really, not a whole lot here. You're gonna see some new construction here. Midlothian has this massive amount of new construction. And then in here in Grand Prairie and Mansfield, you're also gonna see new construction. So all of these really are just, these areas here are ideal if you want great schools, you know, new construction, you know, and no more than a 30 minute commute, right? Cause you can get that right here with Midlothian. Okay, so let's see, I told you the population, I've told you the square miles, I've told you what cities are there. Let's go ahead and kind of zoom in now. Let me go ahead and get rid of this and this, okay, and this, okay. And let's zoom in and take a closer look at Midlothian. Okay, all right, so here we have Midlothian, okay, right in here. Now, if you remember in my new construction video, we spotlighted a guide that was completely free. So I'm gonna flip over here and show you that, okay? This guide, by the way, is completely free. It's yours for the asking. All you have to do is look down in the description section and it's right there, okay? All right, so the Midlothian Community's new construction guide that we put out. Again, I mentioned that we spotlighted 10 areas, 10 new construction communities. And of course, I mentioned that this is like the tip of the iceberg there are so many more <laughs> okay um there are really just if you were to look in midlothian you'll find some just areas that are just flattened just nothing but rock and you know that construction is going to happen at some point there's a ton just like that too okay so when i say for example i'm going to tell you this there's not a whole lot you know north of north of 287 when i tell you that that's only because they haven't started building yet because there are plenty of flattened areas okay all right, so we're gonna take a look now. I'm gonna show you, what I wanna do is I wanna show you these communities on the map so you can kinda of get an idea of where these fit into in Midlothian, okay? So let's kinda of go ahead and start with Dove Creek, okay? So I'm gonna do here, and again, we're at Midlothian right here, right, okay? You can see Midlothian. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, so let's kind of go in here because what I'm going to look for right now is I'm going to look for the Midlothian Community Park, right? Because that is where you're going to find Dove Creek. So let's kind of look in here. All right, do you see we've kind of arrived at Midlothian Community Park? And one of the things that I mentioned about Midlothian Community Park is that if you wanted to, you could walk to it from Dove Creek, okay? And here we are, here's Dove Creek, okay? So all you'd have to do is walk. Now this road is a bit busy, so you may not wanna walk to it, but it's close enough that if you wanted to, you could, okay? So let's kind of draw a line here. Here we have Dove Creek, okay? So what are some things that we said about Dove Creek? Well, it's mostly D.R. Horton and John Houston homes. Ranges in price from like 382 to 512, something like that. It does have a mandatory HOA. You know, and it's big clarion calls that it's so close to that Midlothian Community Park. So again, here we have Dove Creek, straight up here, Midlothian Community Park, okay? All right, so that kind of helped gives you the idea of Dove Creek. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Grove. Okay, and while I show you the Grove, I'm also gonna show you Massey Meadows, okay, because they are right near each other. So let's kind of take a look at that, the Grove and Massey Meadows. Now, let's scroll out just for a minute here because I want you to see something. Um, as we're talking about these new construction communities, right, we're gonna find that there's one to the west of 67, okay, three, you know, on this side, east of 67, and then almost, and then all the others are gonna be the south of 287, okay? South of 287, so right there, you can kind of see that's where Dove Creek is, okay? So the Grove and Massey Meadows are on the north side, and that's why I wanted to show you those at the same time. So let's kind of scroll in here, and you know how I'm gonna know exactly where these are is because I'm gonna know they're right near Midlothian Heritage High School, okay? And here we go, there's Massey Meadows right here, and here's the Grove, okay? So what is so great about Massey Meadows and the Grove, oh my goodness, they are just so great location-wise for school. So close to the school. In fact, you're just, you're walking distance between these two and then the elementary school's not that far either. Um, so here we have Massey Meadows, okay? And we have the Grove. Now, upon a time, I thought that Bloomfield was the only builder in Massey Meadows. I've since realized it's also John Houston Homes as well. So Massey Meadows, the Grove right there. Let's see if we see any other information. Okay, Bloomfield Homes, they range from 385 to 559 in the Grove. 
and about the same, let's see, 390 to 580 in Massey Meadows. Uh, the cool thing that we did talk about with Massey Meadows is, um, with Bloomfield Homes is that they do honor their contract price, their original one, and that's a little different from most of these other builders. A lot of these other builders, they're gonna have clauses in their contracts that allow you that allow them to raise the price if you know un, under certain circumstances. Uh, and Bloomfield Homes, per their website, does not do that. So that's what's kind of nice about that. So that is Massey Meadows and the Grove. Let's go ahead now and take a look at Prairie Ridge, okay? Because Prairie Ridge you're gonna find is kind of way off on its own. So I'm gonna scan out here okay and we are going to look at prairie ridge right so now we have again our familiar landmarks we have 67 here and we have 287 here right okay we're going to find that prairie ridge is way over here okay it is the only one that is so far off the beaten track okay so so we again we have this side a couple we're gonna have three here we have you know most of them here and then over here we're gonna have find prairie ridge okay so prairie ridge is kind of off on its own and there it is you can see right there there's prairie ridge okay so let's draw a little line there so and now the things we noted about prairie ridge that was a little bit different um, is that prairie ridge is meant to be more like its own town like it's gonna be huge massive have a school there and if you think about it, look at that location wise it kind of needs to be right you know, because it's kind of in here in the middle, like these others are closer to the hub of Midlothian. This one is kind of like between Mansfield, Grand Prairie, and Midlothian. So that's a good good thing. So let's kind of see what we had about this. Lots of different builders here. Plans for private and public parks, ponds for fishing. Okay, I love this resort style pool with cabanas. Oversized playground. Um, it's in its early stages of construction. But again, this one is meant to be like an, its own little small town. So it's gonna be massive, okay? Uh, and again, I know I'm kind of going through this construction guide fast, but it's absolutely yours for the taking. If you want a copy of your own, all you have to do is look in the description section and it'll be right there. All right, let's look at Autumn Run. Okay, and there we see Brandy Ridge. We're gonna come back to Brandy Ridge. But let's go ahead and look at Autumn Run and Hawkins Meadows because we're gonna see again that these are right near each other, okay? So let's take a look at Autumn Run and Massey Meadows. All right, so what we're gonna do, right, we're over here. Okay, this was Prairie Ridge, then we talked about here. Now we're gonna look over here, okay? So let's kind of drill in here. All right, kind of coming in here. Okay, so right across from each other, right here, you're gonna find Autumn Run, and right over here, you're gonna find Hawkins Meadows, okay? So what is distinctive about these two places? Well, look how close they are to the highway. Glory be, if you're wanting to shorten that commute, these are great, great locations for you. Also, this is like Midlothian's, you know, newest retail right in here, okay? It's very shiny, it's very new, and you can see kind of all it has to offer here and we kind of scroll in a little bit look at all those different stores right chicken salad wing stop jack-in-the-box baluchis ross ultra beauty kroger um, lots and lots here and you know if i scrolled in more you know my personal favorite jersey mike's is in here somewhere starbucks okay um so this is a really nice new retail section but lithium doesn't have that much in terms of retail but this part of it is gorgeous you got your out of your quick trip so on either side here, you know, if you want quick access to the highway or quick access to the grocery store, either one of these are gonna be great fit for you, okay? Autumn Run or Hawkins, okay? So let's take a quick look here. So there's Autumn Run, right, okay? The thing about Autumn Run is it's almost completely built out, okay? Which means you won't have those troublesome construction vehicles coming in and out, but at the same time, um, at the same time, you're not um, gonna have as much choices in terms of picking your floor plan, okay? So that is Autumn Run and Hawkins Meadows, okay, the same way. All right, let's talk about Brandy Ridge for a minute, okay? Cool thing about Brandy Ridge that you're really gonna like is that they are offering larger lot sizes. Most of what we're looking at today gonna have those smaller lot sizes, which is pretty typical, really, of you know new construction, 0 0.1, 0 0.15 of an acre. Brandy Ridge is, is one of the few that is gonna offer you bigger lots. So let's take a look, see if we can find Brandy Ridge, okay? So when I'm looking at Brandy Ridge, you know where I'm gonna look again is I'm gonna look at Midlothian Community Park because it's right near there, okay? So let's see if we can find my Midlothian Community Park. There it is. And here we are at Brandy Ridge, okay? So let's go ahead and draw a line here. So again, what's cool about Brandy Ridge? Well, it's not as densely packed in there, okay? You've got bigger lots. Now, Brandy Ridge is still very, very new. New construction, if you go there, you're gonna see maybe a few houses up, but there's not that many. Okay, so this one's still gonna be under construction for a while. And if you like the idea 
of that oversized lot, you're going to want to think about Brandy Ridge, okay? So there you have Brandy Ridge, very new construction, Bloomfield Homes, 450s to 650s. A lot of information here. Again, if you'd like to see a copy of this guide, it is absolutely, all you have to do is look in the description section. Okay, let us move on to Wycliffe Manor. Okay, what are you going to love? Here we have Wycliffe Manor. Look at that right there. Custom home community. That's what you need to know about Wycliffe Manor, okay? They're going to let you build your own home. All right, let's see if we can figure out where Wycliffe Manor is. Let me kind of show you. So you're getting the idea here of how most of these you know, are going to be south of 287. Okay, so Wycliffe Manor, we're going to find that right along in here. Okay, and here it is, Wycliffe Manor. All right, so you're right pretty close to the highway here, okay, and pretty close to all the shiny retail, right? You know, run to Kroger for a gallon of milk, run to Chick-fil-A because you got to have lunch, okay? You're not that far at all. So let's kind of do little line here over Wycliffe Manor, okay? And let's see what we have here. So Wycliffe Manor, cool thing about it, again, custom built homes, right? Most of the time you don't get that option. Most of the time you gotta go with what the builder offers you. And maybe they have, you know, they're gonna have different floor plans for you to pick from, but with Wycliffe Manor, you pick your own floor plan, okay? They're gonna have their preferred builders, John Houston Homes, uh, McCurchin and Tree Hill, but they're flexible. It sounds like that they've got some flexibility there with just those being their preferred builders, but still custom home, very nice. Okay, another thing about Wycliffe Manor is you don't have to take care of the front yard, okay? <laughs> the HOA includes front yard maintenance. So what I like about that is that even though there's, you know, you're gonna have custom homes, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of homogeneity there, um, there's still all the front yards are gonna be maintained, so that's really nice. Okay, so we've talked about Wycliffe Manor now, Villas of Summercrest, okay? That one is right near Wycliffe. See, here we are right here. Okay, so let me draw a circle there. Here we have Villas of Summercrest. So you kind of see how just this whole area, just new construction, new construction. All right, so guys, when I tell you Midlothian is new construction, <laughs> hopefully now you're seeing that and <laughs> you believe me. Um, okay, let's read up a little bit on Villas of Summercrest, okay? Uh, 475 to 635, give or take, okay, is your average, you know, your prices there in Villas of Summercrest. Um, 25 new homes, gated community, and a lot of what we've shown today is not gated community, but this one is. Also, again, this one's blocks away from the Midlothian Community Park. So again, easy access on Villas of Summercrest. Okay, uh, we are at our last one, believe it or not, Azalea Hollow. And you know, personally, I gotta tell you, I feel like I've kind of saved the best for last. Let me show you Azalea Hollow. Okay, so, so far, we've talked about one over here. Okay, we've talked about several here, right in here, right? talked about a couple here. Well, you know, Azalea Hollow, we're going to see that it is well off the beaten track here. Okay, let's kind of see if we can find this over here. All right, and there we have Azalea Hollow. Okay, so Azalea Hollow, again, it's not going to be as close. You're going to have a long drive to the grocery store. What's cool about Azalea Hollow is Azalea Hollow on their website, they'll specifically say, hey, we're keeping the trees, the trees are gonna stay, right? These are all oversized lots, they're like one acre lots, and they're leaving all the trees, okay? And also just in general, this whole area is like that. This is very much a custom built area. All along here, you're just gonna see custom built homes. There was no developer that came in. It's just about people just buying off of you know, some acres at a time and building there. Okay, so Azalea Hollow, not only does it have, you know, the tree, heavily treed lots, oversized lots, it's also very indicative of what the whole area is like. Okay, so Azalea Hollow, kind of unique in that way, and also its location is kind of unique because it's far off the beaten track. So if you don't mind, you know, maybe a bit of a, fat, you know, longer trip to the grocery store, but you like that acreage, Azalea Hollow is absolutely perfect, right? So um, so anyway, so that gives you an idea. Let me kind of scroll out again. Gives you a great idea, you know, of where those 10 communities are. Azalea Hollow here, Massey Meadows, the Grove here. Um, you can kind of see where that is. Just got your one Prairie Ridge over here. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Reach out to me if you'd like to see these in person. Absolutely, I would love to do that, okay? So reach out to me and um, we'll talk and definitely we can show you, get your feet on the ground, let you see these in person, all right? Okay, well, thank you so much again for joining us today. Listen, have a great day.